Hi, I am Piyush. In the next 5 minutes, we will talk about the two simple methods of aggregate planning. Now, aggregate planning as a name, it means planning for a family of products. It's a family, not individual. So, it's a group of products. So, small cars could be a group, um, large generators could be a group, high voltage air conditioners could be a group. So, it's about a family of products. And we talk about medium term. So, medium term, it essentially means about 12 to 18 months. That is the scope of planning under aggregate planning. And thirdly, the whole idea of aggregate planning is to match the demand and supply in a way that is feasible for the firm. Um, so let's look at a situation where um, this y-axis represents demand and the x-axis represents time. So let me write that out so we have it clear here. And this represents demand D. The average demand for the next 12 or 18 periods, months, would be represented by these dotted lines. And the actual value of demand could be this. So there's a low demand and then it picks up and ends up close to the average. Now one choice that the production person has would be to produce somewhere exactly equal to demand so that he produces around the demand tries to forecast and the production is always around the demand number. The beauty of this production is that there is hardly ever any inventory built up. But the major problem is that throughout the year the manufacturer will have to live with this high capacity. So this maximum capacity which is equal to the peak demand is what the manufacturer will have to have throughout the year. And so in periods of low demand the capacity will be underutilized. So this method which is also called the chase method of production planning creates low capacity utilization but has very low inventory also. Another method that we could use would be to have a, some kind of a level production. So this was the demand and this was the time. Let me put a D here and let me put the time and let us suppose this was the average demand. The actual demand was similar going down and coming up. One option as a manufacturer I would have would be to build along some constant level. Now by building at this some constant level I would definitely build up inventory. So here my production is higher than the demand. So in this period I would build up inventory but then I can use this inventory in this period when my production is lesser than demand. So while in this method which we call as level capacity planning we live with lower capacities and higher utilizations but the problem is that we build up inventory. So for firms they need to decide the greater evil. For firms where Higher capacity cost or greater problem would typically go for level capacity or level aggregate planning and for firms where inventory is a greater problem would probably go for chase method of aggregate planning. That was a simple introduction to the level and chase methods of aggregate planning. Thank you.